Hi guys, welcome back to the BME Prep. Today we will be talking about what is biomaterials. The definition of a biomaterial is any matter, surface, or construct that interacts with biological systems. They can be derived from nature or synthesized in the lab using metallic components, polymers, ceramics, or composite materials. Biomaterials just like and biomechanics is a multidisciplinary field that has established disciplines in medicine, chemistry, chemical engineering, mechanical engineering, biomedical engineering, and material science. Biomaterials are used in many different ways in today's medical practice in medical implants, methods to promote healing of human tissues, regenerated human tissues, molecular probes and nanoparticles, biosensors, and drug delivery systems. Examples of medical implants include, but are not limited to, heart valves, stents, grafts, artificial joints, ligaments, tendons, hearing loss implants, and dental implants. Examples of regenerated human tissues include scaffolds, cells, and bioactive molecules. As far as my experience goes in this regard, I was able to spend a semester researching for the Chemical and Biological Engineering Department at RPI and got to work with BioInks in order to 3D bioprint a human skin graft made of a matrix of different cells. The applications of such a discovery will hopefully allow for a complete healing process of burn victims. But for now, it has been established that these grafts can be used to help heal patients with pressure ulcers, or diabetic ulcers as well. The definition of a biosensor is a device that is able to detect the presence and amount of specific substances and transmit the data, such as in a diabetic patient to monitor glucose levels. And finally, drug delivery systems are able to carry out and apply drugs to a targeted area, such as in cancer patients, and using drug-coated vascular stents or implantable chemotherapy wafers. Like the other two concentrations offered at RPI, biomaterials plays a role in a vast number of ways beyond what is possible today which makes it such an integral part of society in the infinite number of studies performed in the engineering and medical world. The search for new advances in the medical field will never end, which makes biomedical engineering more and more important each day, especially given the climate we are in today with COVID-19. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you learned a lot today about biomaterials and this will become the main focus of my channel from here on out. I hope that you are excited and willing to learn about biomaterials in the next few weeks. I uh, will see you next time. Bye!